Dun. Hey guys, Jake here, and welcome. Welcome everybody. This is a very, this is gonna be a very very sad episode, guys. Very very sad. Well, it's been a nice run. Beautiful. And uh, yeah. Oh crap! <laughs> I survived that. What the heck? Anyways, guys, it's a nice run. Well, I lasted, but it is all good things must come to an end. And thus, season three of Suburbia SMP is, come, is uh, at an end, guys. We're going to have to say goodbye to our storage tower. The thing that we spent like three, like five hour streams on. With his beautiful spruce wood walls and orange stained glass. Oh, we never got to finish it. Never. Never ever. Ever ever. Ah crap. I think it's only fair to uh to jump off of it. Ah crap. Okay. Phew. Say goodbye to our beautiful master bedroom that we couldn't get three beds to work at all, so I have to move the bed over here. Our beautiful house, our creeper hen, our what the yeah Shrek, what the heck? Our beautiful uh, set of armor and enchantments. Our my first ever legit beacon. I'm gonna miss you, Beacon. The tree farms. My auto smelteries. And my, my auto brewery stand. My beautiful loot. Miss you. Don't miss you. The bridge. The, uh. The guest house. My beautiful stable. My auto wheat farm that apparently nobody decided they were going to replant. What the heck? All the nether wart that I never used. What else? My auto wheat farm. Look at it. It's so beautiful. I should go grab my armor. <laughs> I should definitely go grab my armor. But yeah, tomorrow the map closes and season three will be over. But you do not fear, everybody, as uh, season season four will start next Friday, July the third. Oh, I'm gonna miss my first ever uh, first ever XP grinder that apparently has my head on it. What the heck? Okay then. All the screen. Enchantment table. <sighs> we have to say goodbye to our cows and pigs. Goodbye cows that I, I've slaughtered plenty of and pigs I say goodbye to you guys and my cactus wall that goes on forever oh my goodness the sadness the sadness guys I need some food <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna starve Harvest this one last time. My goodness, guys. It's been a long run. Not really. Longer than last season, though. And we made like three episodes for the last season. Because I've only been part of Suburbia since season two. 
I think a third of the way through season two of two, to be exact. But yeah. Craziness. We got to say goodbye to our horse. Goodbye, horse. I will miss you. But there's plenty of other horses out there that I will get to see and make my friend. Do not worry. Goodbye cake that Megan gave me. <laughs> and your chest. I think the most thing I'm gonna I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss my nether path. This thing was beautiful. <laughs> Just beautiful guys. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I mean, just look at it. <laughs> just look at it in its beauty. <laughs> Our messed up spawn. We miss Kojet's tree. <laughs> that random thing that was never started. That was never finished. That random house. I don't know who it belongs to, but it's just a random house. We will miss you, random house. We will miss you, random nether cube thing. Whatever you are. <laughs> we will miss you. What else shall we miss? Uh, let's see here. I should be able to find it. Hey, just give me a sec. Whoops. Goodbye, Swampert's first base. <laughs> Um, by Swampert's base that got destroyed by Ryan. Poor Swampert's base, guys. It's such a beautiful looking base, too. Hit a double beacon. Tons, I mean, tons of farms. It was beautiful. It was beautiful, guys. It was beautiful. And I mean, we can't forget about all his horses. I think he has the most horses in the server. <laughs> say goodbye. We say goodbye to Megan and mine or Craig's face. We say goodbye to this masterpiece. Goodbye, Masterpiece. They had they built this amazing horse stall and never got any horses. And they built this giant living room that apparently has skeletons in it now. What the heck? That was supposed to be our meeting room for stuff. But we never got to use it. And they had the coolest little storage room ever. And it just had like the biggest, got a beautiful, beautiful detailed house, guys. Beautiful house. Hit the guest house. What the heck? Got a little dinner bone. <laughs> God damn it. It looks like some people were abusing stuff. <laughs> beautiful little kitchen. The table where we all got, where me, Conkman, Megan and Ryan. I think it was just me. Megan and Ryan get get drunk. Get drunk on potions of harming. It's beautiful. Um, let's see what else. I guess we can uh, we can go visit Endive's base. She was a newly added member a couple weeks ago. And she has a little base over here that she shares with. Uh, I think. And there's her little base. It's been a 
been destroyed many times by pranks. As you can see, I think. Real Story Night Experience. What the heck? This thing is ridiculous. I mean, it looks amazing on the outside, but the inside is really weird. What the heck? Okay, I'm just gonna act like I didn't see that. <laughs> what the? Hello, spider. How's it going? You want a hug? I think you do. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's right. I lost my diamond tools. Very tragic and saddening. And, you know, just tons tons of cake everywhere. Because why not? Who doesn't like cake? Okay, on to the next base. We say goodbye to Cheese's base. It's just the coolest nether entrance room thing. And we just get these horse stables for everybody, and then just a glass floor that looks down at a mine. It's really amazing. And then she has a floating tower. It's pretty amazing. Okay, it's pretty pretty awesome, guys. Very amazing. I'll try to climb the, la the uh, ladder. The water ladder, that is. Try to climb it. No guarantees on if I can get up here successfully. See? Oh, crap. I'm gonna die trying to get up this ladder. Definitely gonna die. Come on. Come on. We got this. We did it. Amazing. Oh wow, that's a pretty cool looking brewing stand area. And storage room. That's definitely different from the first from the last time I was in this space. Just got the towers with more storage. Something out right here, I think. Oh fancy. Little That's cool. Another portal. Nice. Very, very awesome and scenic. I gotta say. Very, very scenic. Another, like, overlook room, I'm guessing. Beautiful. I like it. This base was awesome. Okay. We say goodbye to Conklin's base, guys this beautiful thing here this beautiful base and his crazy mine down there that he never got to finish and his awesome farms ouch ouch maybe this is where the nether portal nope that's not it okay cool 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 storage room pretty nice storage room and uh then he's got his awesome castle that he got, has here that he doesn't get to get, that he didn't get to finish. But hey, it's awesome. As you can see. Ow. <laughs> Not sure what's up with the green wall, but that castle's pretty awesome. Yes, yes it is. It's nice. Okay. We'll go on to the next base. Welcome everybody to Zebulon's base. Look, a door leading to nowhere. <laughs> Another door to a basement. Oh, that's a pretty cool looking kitchen. And a room with a fireplace. Nice. That's pretty cool. Ah, sweet. And a dog pen. Little garden area with a well. How nice. Whoa. This place is really... Wow. That base is awesome. Good job, man. Excuse you. 
Thank you. That base is amazing. I really love it. I think that might actually be my favorite base on the server. <laughs> the detail on that thing is really nice. That's really awesome. Over here at Seven O's base. Kind of Alice's base. Looks like she's trying to make something with this waterfall thing going on here. And just, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Oh, here we go. Here's the base. That doesn't even look like it leads to anything. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. I like the uh, furnace I gave at the waterfall there. What the heck comes out of that? It looks like some kind of collection thing. I don't know. Wow! Pretty nice looking storage room. <laughs> what the heck? I gotta say, this is some pretty interesting names for uh, for, uh, for organization purposes. There we go. I got it out. An enchantment table, another rack, and that's cool, cool, cool. Welcome to Abe's base. You can kind of see it's going on there. I don't know. You can sort of see it. Oh boy. We might drown here. We drown. That might be. That's probably not good. Boom. There we go. We can see it a little bit better now. You can see Abe's amazing underwater sea dome, sort of, and uh, it doesn't really get captured well on uh, OBS, guys, I, I apologize for that, but hey, whatever, we'll see if I can get it. Okay, this is getting boring. <laughs> oh, jeez, I just completely forgot I was recording. <laughs> We're almost there. We gotta run a bunch now. <laughs> it's a very long underwater tunnel. Ta-da! Then uh, we go up this ladder. Okay. And boom, you can see his base. This was going to be the sea dome. As you can see. It would have looked really amazing. It would have looked really amazing if it ever got finished. Okay. Next base. Okay. To end us off, we're over at Cold Jet Space. Let's see, we just got this little mine here with a little bit of setup here. But he chose to make his base in a swamp. As you can see. And he's got some weird, crazy stuff going on here. It looks like a farm, maybe? And I think at the top of that is a mob dropper or something like that. Something like that. Who knows? I can't parkour. 
Okay, I sorry. I am sorry, everybody. Okay. But then he has this nice little shack. It looks pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Okay. With that, that has been, uh, oh, wait. I should end this at spawn. Okay, I'm going to have to travel back there. See you in a sec. Okay, our journey comes to an end here at the new spawn that never got finished. That never got finished. With the ability to give all the beacon effects to somebody, to everybody. This awesomeness. Swampert's birthday cake on it. A mob grinder for no reason. And just going on forever. This thing is going to be gigantic, you know. As you can see, I did a lot of that there. I got the outline done and uh, started filling in here, but we're not going to have enough time to do that. And I'll just do a nice little pan through. Here was the original spawn. Here's the original spawn, guys. Then over here, if I can find it, is Swampert's old base. Then you got Megan and Mime's old base. Nether Cube, that random house. My base. Cochrane's base over here. Here's where the end portal was located, guys. Okay. Here's new spawn. Here's Fire Fire Dragon's house. I think right here. Abe's little farm area. There's Abe's base from the sky. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Alice's base. Cold Jet's base. And just to let everybody see how far away the Mesa Biome was. Dun, 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 dun. As you can see. Here's Cheese's base. I don't know whose base this here was, but I'm sorry, I didn't get your base. Then Megan and Mime's base, and I have little thing. Swampert's base, and yeah. That was all. That was everything. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys are psyched and excited for Season 4 in the next week or so. But yeah, this has been Jake. This is space, the Space Cake Jake YouTube channel. And this has been Suburbia SMP Season 3. Final episode. See you guys in Season 4. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Later, everybody. Bye. <laughs>just all one word then? Epic. Okay. Capital? Yeah. Okay. This summer. Okay. Okay. You will be thrilled to scream. Wait. The world is no longer as you remember it. Cochlin? Or yet? What? Everything changed. It's actually a Jake kissing booth. I'm just gonna walk away now. Nuclear war has begun. Critics are calling it beautiful, romantic. You will be thrilled to will never be the same.